Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is B Taylor TV, and today we are going to be talking about Denea Jackson once again. As you know, I have covered her in the past about her healing journey and how she is recovering from this narcissistic man and relationship that she had to endure for years on. And there's just some interesting things that have popped up. She is now beefing. I would say competing with Derek Jackson's girlfriend, his last mistress that everyone found out before he filed for a divorce. Okay, so she is getting into it with this girl here. So I'm going to read you Denea's post because somehow I am unblocked <laughs> from her page. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get into it because I told you guys she blocked me before and I she made me unfollow her. She didn't quite block me or maybe she did unblock me, but she made me unfollow her because I was following her and then she made me like unfollow her and then she put her page on private. Um, but I discussed that in the previous video before. But anyway, let's get into some things because I'm back following her. Um, Denea said, hold on, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was finished. Tag pinky love. I'm trying to preach something while I wait. Turn to 1 Samuel chapter 30. When David's Denea wife, Denea, quote Denea, wife's husband, uh, Ahimanom and Abigail, I mean, it was wives. She's talking about her husband. She's saying about Derek. Were captured by the Amalekites. David, aka Denea, had a moment of great distress. Then she went to the Lord and said, Lord, shall I pursue the raiding? pinky love party. Will I overtake them? Pursue them? He answered, you will certainly overtake them and succeed in rescue. Verse eight. So David, AKA Denea took 400 and then she tagged one, two, three, four of her friends of 600 men to pursue what was stolen. Okay, y'all let's break this down. She is basically referring to herself as David, her husband as the wives of David and which he had two wives. And then uh, Pinky Love is the person who stole her husband from her. So she is saying that this woman stole her husband. Okay. And that God, that she asked God, can she get her stuff back? And can she, and he answered, and you will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue, rescuing her husband from the grips of this Jezebel woman. Okay. Pinky love is a Jezebel. Okay. We're just going to be straight, straightforward with that. Okay. Um, so she says she's going to have her friends, um, come and steal back what is hers. Long story short, David, AKA Denea recovered all that was stolen and took all of pinky love, the mistress stuff as interest for pain and suffering. So I heard pinky was a model. So I'm going to take that blessing of hers as a down payment for pain and suffering. Big God trumps little God says got to be more careful. Then she asked people to tag her and other people tagged. Then she put in her comments, which she has pinned and said, did you know God will use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise? And some people in the comments were like, yeah, this went over a lot of people's head. Then Denea responded and said, let those who have eats to hear and eyes to see to I think she meant ears to hear and eyes to see, to let them hear and see what the spirit has to say. So she's posted some modeling type of photos. Denea, as we said earlier, she is looking good. She didn't lost weight, which I think has been stress as well, but she's also been in the gym taking care of herself. She's now doing, her, she's getting her hair done, getting her makeup done because when we saw her, when she was with Derek Jackson, she did, she didn't look well put together. You know, she didn't really dress up. She didn't really do her hair. She didn't really kind of just make herself look made up. Now she's like, I am going after it all. And she is in this dress and modeling and look great, by the way. And then she posted this, did it on them. Anointing, virtue, intelligence, pl plus fashion equals far above 
rubies. So again, she is shading Derek Jackson's new girlfriend who was the mistress because Pinky, as much as she want to say she was not a mistress, she was. And any mistress has a Jezebel spirit. So she's talking about her referring to her as a ruby and then that she is a dime because she's anointed, she's virtuous, she's intelligent, and now she's in fashion. And then she put down, and we getting back together. I don't need a mediator. Um, she said, P.S. I received my multi-million dollar modeling contract before December 31st, 2023. And Jesus mighty name, go off Holy Spirit. So I think now that she is saying, she's manifesting that she is going to have this multi-million dollar modeling contract before the year is over. So she is claiming that God is going to bless her with all these things because in his word, he's promised David everything that was taken from him that he will get back and take the things that the of the person who stole his wife, take his possessions and stuff as well. So it seems to me that Denea is starting to um, compete with the mistress and I'm going to give my real commentary about this, guys. And I'm going to start with Pinky. Okay, I'm going to start with Pinky because Pinky did clap back with a post and said, I'm going to always keep smiling. Okay, so I she said, I'll always smile and be happy to wake up another day. So she posted that clapping back at Denea. You know, clapping back at the people that was tagging her. Like, oh, I don't care. Then she uh, posted at the end a subliminal shade saying, hope you find peace for yourself. And Derek Jackson messy ass like the post. Like he said, she said something and then Derek Jackson, you know, end up liking the post. So, oh, no, actually... I caught a screenshot, guys. She actually responded back to Denea. And this is the post. Someone posted it. So I took a screen grab and Derek Jackson was one of the people that liked it. And this is what she had to say to Denea. As a woman, I know healing isn't easy, but being in this one-way competition with me isn't going to help. I didn't meet or even talk to your estranged ex until months after he filed from you, but you are still on social media bullying and harassing me every chance you get. I didn't steal, quote unquote, anything from you. And even if I did, your anger would be displaced. That marriage was between y'all and same goes for your divorce. Tagging me isn't going to bring him back to you. Your pictures are beautiful, but your spirit isn't. This religious theme smear campaign isn't fooling anyone. Get some help and maybe better friends who will keep it real with you that this isn't a good look, sweetie. If you're really healing, the only thing on your mind should be your beautiful children and your walk with God, not me. P.S. To anyone who may be seeking a relationship with God, don't let this discourage you. Real Christians don't act like this. Okay. Now, and then she tagged the shade room, spiritual world, and unwind with Tasha K. Okay. okay. So let's break down something what Miss Pinky Love had to say because she contradicted herself too. Pinky, we got the receipts, boo. Okay. You were with that man before he filed for divorce. We got the videos from Tasha K and we got the photos from Tasha K. You knew that man was not officially divorced and you was messing with him. So let's get something straight, Jezebel. Because what I don't like is women that says, oh, your anger is displaced. No, ma'am. If you didn't know about me and you didn't know that that man was married or in a relationship, that's one thing. Yes, her anger shouldn't be towards you because you didn't know. But boo-boo, you was messing with a public figure man who was outed months ago last year by Tasha K for being a cheating, ain't no good type of man. 
So you knew what type of man he was and he was in the public eye getting down and dirty with different type of women, lying to the public, lying to other women, lying to his wife. And you yet still want to act like you're the victim, like, oh, well, I didn't mess with him until after. And no, you didn't get serious in public with him until after because you had to hide and be the Jezebel that you were and hide and run around with this man because you knew you shouldn't even be messing with that married man in the first place. So like, don't pull this innocent card because one thing I can't stand is a woman who can't take accountability. Just say that you was being a jump off to a married man at the end of the day and own up to it because you knew what you was doing. You knew what you were doing. You knew that you wanted to mess with a high profile man and you knew that man was still married. Point blank, period. Because I'm not going to mess as a woman myself. If I know that you are married um, I don't care. I don't care if it's separated, still married. Okay. G- going through some arguments, still married. Okay. Until the ink is dry on the divorce papers, boo boo, don't talk to me. And every woman should carry that attitude because the way that man leaves that relationship shows the character of that man, shows the character of what type of man he is and what type of woman you are to even be with a man like that. To even try to date a man like that, that got kids and a wife that he left and deserted and you want to run around and flaunt around with him, okay? And then saying she's in a one-way competition, and that is true, Denea. You are in a one-way competition because the girl is not competing with you. You make yourself look foolish trying to compete with a mistress. She's low vibrational. We don't need to compete with low vibrational women. You need to look down on her as like, yes, you can have my leftovers, boo, because it ain't shit about him anyway. You're going to have to deal with that. He's, this is the part where I have with Danea, and I'm sorry that I'm all over the place because I'm going back and forth with what this girl was saying, saying that she is, you know, social media bullying her with her religion. Danea is using religion to bully this girl. First of all, you win in silence. Okay. You win in silence. Uh, Okay, when something somebody has done you wrong, it seems like she's getting impatient with God because she seems like she wants God to jump in and basically take everything that this woman took away from her. This woman didn't take Derek away from you, baby. He did not take Derek away from you, Denea. He walked away. It didn't matter if it was her. It was going to be another jump off. It was going to be her as a jump off or another jump off. It was going to be a jump off at the end of the day, playing clueless. Because one thing I can't stand is a woman who plays clueless like she didn't know he was in a relationship. No, but what you knew because women, one thing we do is we investigate. And if we ain't investigating, our friends are investigating. You knew this man was in a relationship, point blank, period. But the problem with Danae is, baby, you are getting too You are getting too impatient and you're showing your hand. You're never supposed to show your hand. You're supposed to be saying, oh, uh, this is what's going to happen to you. I'm going to take your modeling contract and I'm going to do this. Why are you telling this woman what you're going to take from her? That is not what God wants you to do. You sit in silence and you let God fight your battles. You let God fight. So you're dealing with a situation where a man did you wrong or a friend did you wrong or somebody did you wrong or somebody spited you or you may be in a situation like Danae or been in a situation You got to trust and believe that God is going to handle your battles for you. Because when you feel like I got to step in and show them that, oh, karma's coming. It's coming. I'm going to take everything from you. Then you're delaying those blessings because you're telling the enemy exactly what you want to happen. And that's not how God moves. That's not you. God does not punish people in the pleasure of you. He punished them on his own timing. But you cannot be impatient. And Danea wants immediate action because she probably is feeling spiteful, which is so because one thing about a healing journey, a lot of people don't tell you about is that sometimes you could be running towards healing and you could be feeling good and you could be feeling blessed. And you could be feeling like you're getting close to God and you leave in that relationship and you feeling good about yourself. And then all of a sudden it's one night you in the bed and you start feeling 
like this sense of sadness and anger and despair and you start feeling hurt again and you start feeling those same exact feelings when the relationship ended or when that man hurt you and betrayed you, you start feeling those feelings again and they start overwhelming you and you're with anger and resentment and mad and all you can think about is that girl that he's with now or that he's living his life and he's happy and you're suffering and he doesn't care and nobody cares and you get angry and you get mad and then you get upset and you're like, Oh God, you and then you start looking for vengeance because you're not resting on God anymore. You're resting in anger. You got to catch yourself when you get into those moments to say, Oh my God, I am fo- focusing on him and I'm not focusing on God. I start missing him and start thinking about him and start thinking about what he's doing and getting jealous and getting mad and getting possessive and getting vengeance and anger and you realize that you want to you want them to pay for hurting you you want the other person to pay for hurting you because you're not focused on God anymore you're weaponizing the word to get back your vengeance that you want so badly because you're so hurt and I understand it because sometimes it feels like you're running this race towards healing and then you just kind of take a couple of steps backward, 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 backwards, backwards, backwards. And you find yourself angry and upset just like you were in the beginning. And you're like, wait a second, what happened? I thought I was on track. It's because sometimes we stop focusing on God and we start looking to the side and we start looking left and we start looking right. And we, oh, he looks happy. You start looking at photos. Oh, he looks like he's enjoying his life. Then you start looking, you look to the left and the right and you see her and you see her enjoying your man and your husband and you start painting this picture in your head that she took something that was never yours to take in the first place because God been telling her that Derek was never the man for her he was never the husband for her he was never going to be what she needed him to be because God did not call sometimes God will let us make decisions because we have to learn the hard way because we will not listen to him. Sometimes you may need that heartbreak to understand why that person was not for you. Sometimes that man got to hurt you so bad and drag you through the mud for you to finally wake up and say, this is not for me. Because some women, because if you have a past like Denea. It's hard to let go because of abandonment issues and you're holding on and you're lying to yourself and you're holding on to whatever you can hold on to. So, Denea, I know that you're impatient. I know you want vengeance. I know you're angry. But you also got to remind yourself what type of man that woman is getting. And she is getting exactly what you have got, which was the He's going to show his face eventually. That man's a narcissist. Okay. He's narcissistic. Okay. So he's going to try to seem like everything is good in the beginning because that's how he pulls his victims in. Zanea, keep healing. Keep healing. Keep working out. Keep spiritually growing. Keep focusing on God. And don't focus on Pinky anymore because pinky is the type of woman that's going to have some hardships that man is not going to marry that girl she's the fun girl and and i think Denea, you probably want your husband back and god is telling you no 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 leave it up to god if it's meant to be whatever it's meant to be will be But you need to focus on God and not him and not his little mistress girl. Because whatever modeling contract you think that you want from her, you don't want that. I looked at her page. I looked at this girl page. She has an amazing body. You do too. So Nea went and lost weight. And it seems like now she is competing with Pinky. The small waist the body and everything. She's like, okay, well, I'm going to do it too. Pinky models for what? Fashion Nova? What is she modeling for? She's not in no real modeling contract. She's not even in no real multi-million dollar contract. What are we competing for? What are we really competing? What are you competing you don't, do you really want to model Denea or do you want to model because she's modeling? 
And and what it's doing it is giving obsessed and it's giving him a reason to laugh at you with his mistress or now you because they're still married. So she's still a mistress to me. She's still a side piece to me. Because as long as you still marry, you're still a Jezebel if you're messing with a married man. You're still a Jezebel. Until that ink is dry on them divorce papers, you're a Jezebel. Okay? So you're messing with married men. And that just shows everything about this woman. And you're getting mad about something that's going to be temporary eventually. And Derek Jackson, with his little messy self, liked the caption that Pinky had for Denea, which I think he helped her write. Okay, I think he helped her write that and she posted it and ended up deleting it. Okay, but she clapped back at Denea and Denea has been on a roll like, vengeance is mine and I'm coming for it. Oh, you think you bad because you dress up and you skinny and cute? I can do that too. Denea. It's time to focus on God, baby, and not him anymore. You don't have to compete with these girls anymore. You don't have to obsess over them anymore. And that's why I say therapy is important because, yes, God can help you, but he also put people in place to help you. He had, and you're still needing to heal. So I heard about her having a whole, um, you know, $4,000 class on healing and stuff like that and I don't think that she's in a space to be charging people how to heal until she has healed until she has fully gotten out of her situation where she's not focused on his mistress and his little jump off because at the end of the day that's not gonna last long you see how he was doing you and many other women He was having other women on top of other women while he was married with you. So why are you competing with her? She's not the reason of your divorce. She is not the reason of your divorce. So yes, her anger is misplaced, but she has a right to be angry at you because the pinky, pinky, you girl, you, you, (laughs) you knew he was married point blank period. You knew that man was still married. You knew he was still married. You didn't see no divorce papers. It don't matter. But to a woman like that, she's okay with him being married. She's okay with hearing the lies. She's okay with that because that just shows what type of woman she is. That's not the type of woman you want to be, Denea. And I'm acting like I'm talking to Denea because one day maybe she will come across my videos, okay? (laughs) But all right, guys, what do y'all think about this whole situation? What do y'all think about Denea clapping back, trying to compete? Do you think that she's trying to compete? What did that Bible verse mean to you? Do you understand what she was trying to say? How do you feel about this whole situation? How do you feel about um, Pinky, his mistress, jump off? You know, what about her responding, clapping back? And then Derek Jackson liking it, signing off on like, you know, like he's condoning what she's saying about Denea, you know, so I want to hear your comments below. Shout out to my moderator, shout out to my subscribers. And if you're new here, I would greatly appreciate if you give it this video a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe if you would like to hear more commentary and comments from me. Thank you again for taking the time out your day to watch this video and see you next time. Bye.